Well, hello, my YouTube family. Today we're doing treasures found in used books. And the quarter I told you about that I had found when I said I never found no money and then found this is a 1984. This is a regular quarter. I can't say I haven't found money in books yet. Now, part of an envelope. Ooh. <laughs> the things people use to mark their books crack me up. And this here was a good year. Some guy in business. It's got all kinds of writing on it. And then we have the presidential coins. When they were released. 2007 to 2016. It says George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, 2007-2016. Richard Nixon, Gerald Ford, all the presidents. And then we have this. I think I see teeny tiny. Can you see that? Looks like a little crumb. Like, was this like a snack or something? They get so into reading a book, they folded up the rubber and they stuck it in the book. Okay. <laughs> then we have a transfer from checking. Somebody did their checking on a little post-it note. And then we have... A certificate of insurance, vehicle owner, card is unused, please disregard. Hmm. Things that people stick in books. <laughs> and then here it says April. It looks like somebody started a write in <laughs> a one eight hundred number on PPG automotive product paper. And then we have a Tuesday, May 9th, 5.15 appointment. <laughs> the next one we have is... Okay, what's this? Stickers. Is that a sticker? No. Something rules for plain cutout tails and stick a pin in the small end of each tail. This is like a pin tail on the donkey. <laughs> okay. That's what that is. Anyways. <laughs> Wishing you a glorious Easter. Little card. The scripture. And next we have Be a Book Lover. Look at that. That is so cute. They have hearts. First things first, the intelligence are, ooh, we're on the same page. This is the Wheeling News Intel Register. This is one of our local newspapers. Well, how cool is that? And then we get, I wonder how far sometimes this stuff travels in books, you know? We have Chief Joseph, an Indian chief. And this was... A powerful orator and advocate for his people's rights to remain in their homelands in Oregon's Wall I'm gonna mess this up. Wallowa Valley. Chief Joseph is best known for leading his people on an epic four month long flight toward freedom through some of the most difficult terrain in the American West. In eighteen seventy seven, Chief Joseph's people were given thirty days notice to relocate to Idaho reservation in order that precipitated in the Nez, if I mess this up, sorry, Purse War, in which G. Joseph led 300 warriors and 500 women and children in a guerrilla campaign that eluded pursuing U.S. troops over 1,300 miles. Hungry, cold, and outnumbered, the Nez Purse, Purse surrendered 40 miles shy of the Canadian border in freedom after being held prisoner in Kansas where five of his children died of disease. Chief Joseph became a tireless and well-publicized champion for his people's rights. His people's right to return to their homelands. Chief Joseph was never allowed to return home. He died in 1904 in Colville Reservation in Washington State. How interesting is that? So much of our heritage we never learned in school. Oh, wow. There's another one. Geronimo, the Apache leader. And then this goes on to tell his story. 
I'm not going to read them all, though. Wow. I don't know what book this came out of. Some of these I just stuck in the drawer as I got them. Quana Parker. Religious Comanche. And then we have Sitting Bull. Hunk, Hunk Papa Military Religious and Political Leader. Very, very interesting. That was an interesting find. And then we have May Your Holidays Be Merry and Bright. Barnes and Noble. How cool is that? Season greetings from Barnes and Noble. Thank you for being a loyal and valuable customer. That's cute. And then we have a, ooh, how cute is this? Hip Hip Hooray! So and so, you can put your name here as a super reader. All new series, join your favorite shows from PBS. Kids, the fun starts when reading begins. Super Y. Watch weekdays. That's so cute. So with that, I'm going to end on one more. Somebody did a drawing. And I just think this is just super cute. I have no clue who did this, but it is adorable. It's like little people. Looks like a cartoon. Not sure which one. And then there's no name or nothing on it. But with that, you guys have a great day. Mwah.